Hi everyone, my name is Linda. Welcome to my channel called Linda Savings. In today's video, I'm going to show you the latest clearance finds at your favorite Costco store. My local Costco is trying to get rid of many seasonal products and I found some amazing deals with an 80% discount. Can you believe it? I also found a lot of great discounts in the kitchenware section, including the Gotham Bakeware set with a 60% off the original price. The Mew mixing bowls are at a clearance price for the first time ever frozen food products, snacks, and much more. And remember that these clearance finds may vary depending on your store location and quantities may be limited. For more deals, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You can find me as Costco this week. Link will be in the part of the video description. Now, same as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's do this. All right, guys, so let's drop today's video with the kitchenware section. I did find this non-piece, uh, non-stick, I should say, aluminum bakeware set of five pieces. This one used to sell at the price of $27. At one point, I remember, I even had a coupon. I think the price came down to around $24 or so. Now I'm finding it for $11. And so I believe the last time we did one of these clearance videos, I did find this one around $19.97. But now it seems like the price continues to drop. But I will say there's not many of these left. At least that's the case in the Costco's in my area. But it's a whole set. And I love everything that it includes. Because you have a muffin pan, a cooking tray. You will you also have the square baking pan and the loaf pan. So it's a whole complete set. And it would be any baker's dream. Now here's one item. You want to keep your eye out on it. It's the stainless steel stock pot. This one is of 8.3 quarts and for the first time ever I'm seeing it at a clearance price $24.97. This one normally sells for $30 and so it is dishwasher safe. They have it here on display and so this one's perfect right now for the winter time to make like soups. I personally love to boil, boil chicken breast on here just because I you know cook a lot um, at once and so this one is oven and boiler safe as well you have a porn rim and the spouts and then of course you have the glass lid with the strainer which is super super helpful I feel that when the set of four mixing bowls went on sale, a lot of people took advantage of that one. And I mean, I don't blame them because you get four mixing bowls and then they come with their lids and their graters. So I thought it was a really nice set. These are dishwasher safe and I'm seeing it now at the clearance price of $19.97. This one normally sells for $30. But if you guys remember, this one even had like a coupon at one point. So here's everything that is included. You get one of them of 1.5 quarts a three quart, a five quart, and an eight quart bowl. You have four lids and then the attachment greeters, which in my opinion just makes it super helpful. It also has a really nice silicone bottom, which ensures that your bowl kind of stays in place anytime you're mixing anything. And so these seem like they could be very useful in any kitchen. Several Costco's in my area still carry these all-purpose wine glasses. And so this one's a whole set of eight of them. And they hold around 21.7 ounces of liquid. So these are selling at the price of $20. And that, that must be the lowest price I've seen so far. This one normally sells for $28. As you can see, this is what they look like. And so again, these are all purpose wine glasses. If you know anyone who is a wine lover, something like this could be very useful. Here we have the hand woven serving trays. It is of two pieces. And so the two pieces, one of them is rectangular. One of them is oval shaped and they're actually very cute. So my mom's actually waiting for this one. And I tell her, let's continue waiting because $19 is not a bad price, but I think it could go a little bit lower, especially for me, you know, that I'm at Costco like almost every other day. And I go to a couple different locations. This one normally sells for 30, but from what I've seen, at least in my Costco area, I have noticed that they are still like pretty much in stock everywhere else. So I would probably recommend for you to wait on this one if you really want it. Again, you get two pieces and they're very useful. They also seem very durable. If you guys remembered, I also included these thermal flasks in my last clearance video. And I was showing you guys, I believe we had found them at 17. This is another new price drop I'm noticing. It would be a $15. And yes, it's the lowest price we've seen so far. But considering several Costco still have the white and the pink thermal flask, 
I would even say like maybe, maybe, just maybe you can find them somewhere around $10 so that would be a really great price. $15 though is still not bad considering these sell for $22. Again, you do get two of them, but most Costco's, actually all the Costco's in my area, I've only seen them available in white with the pink, which is still some really nice options. Here we have the four pack of the double wall glasses with handle. Now these I thought were always really nice. But I did find these at the clearance price of $9.97. They normally sell for $20. So imagine they're already about 50% off. And I have seen them at several Costco's in my area as well. So this is what they look like. It seems like it's glass on both sides. So let me know if anyone's purchased them and if you have... Um, any reviews for this product? I personally haven't researched that, but I'm kind of curious to to know. These are freezer safes. They're also dishwasher safes. Something that I always found really nice about these that they're also oven safe up to 356 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's one product that comes and goes from Costco quite often. These are the bacon wrapped stuffed jalapenos, and I know every time they give out samples, lots of people love to grab these. I will say they're pretty decent. 18 pieces. I did find these going for the price of $10, but I must say that it's kind of a little bit of a rare find. I can't even find the product at every single Costco location in my area. So here are the nutrition facts. Two pieces is around 360 calories. It does have around 20 grams of fat and sugar it's because of the bacon, 1,200 in sodium, and around 20 grams of protein. There's a list of the ingredients. Now these you can heat up in the conventional oven or even on the gas grill. I always wanted to grab a sample of this puff pastry bias because I feel like it has a little bit of everything, but I never had enough luck for this one. It has a couple different things included in it. And for the first time ever, I'm seeing it at a clearance price. So it's selling here at this Costco that I'm at at $8, which is, I must say, kind of a rare find as well. This one normally sells for $13. And so it has roasted red pepper and cheddar. You have spinach and Parmesan cheese artichoke monterey jack and jalapeno and then the last one's caramelized onion and ricotta so sounds very tasty for these pastries now for these you can heat up in the conventional oven 400 degrees fahrenheit anywhere between 18 to 20 minutes here we have the eggplant parmesan from the brand rayos this is a tender breaded eggplant slices in a marinara sauce topped with cheese so this one surprisingly i found it going for the price of ten dollars but i will say that several costcos in my area have it at the original price of 17 dollars so this one's a little bit rare as well one cup is around 240 calories does around 17 grams of fat 610 in sodium 16 grams of carbs 5 grams of sugar and around 9 grams of protein down here is also a list of the ingredients, but I've heard really good things about the Rayo sauce. Actually, not only heard, but I've personally tried it and I really liked it. I keep forgetting to buy it though. Um, but I'm kind of curious to know about this eggplant parmesan. Has anyone tried it? I would say because it's the same brand, I do expect it to taste very well. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I've noticed this bananas and coconut milk Thai dessert is not available in every single Costco location, but if you do happen to spot it and if you like it, I would double check the price because I did find it at this Costco at a clearance price of $5.97. You do have six bowls in here, and so this one normally sells for $14, so just keep that in mind. One bowl is around 310 calories, does have around 37 grams of sugar. As you can see there, the best buy date is until 2025. If you happen to be someone that is looking for a mayonnaise with cleaner ingredients, I've heard great reviews about this Primal Kitchen one. This one's made with avocado oil and this one's a little bit of a rare find. I did find it going for the price of $5. It normally sells at the price of $9.89. And let me tell you, Costco does not have a bad price on it because I've seen it at like regular stores and it can be quite pricey. But of course, I had to double check the expiration date. But first of all, look at those ingredients. Just avocado oil, organic eggs, egg yolks, organic vinegar, sea salt, and organic rosemary. It is also gluten-free. And then let me double check here the expiration date. It does say best by April 10th of 2024. So I'm sure that explains why I did find it at a clearance price at this Costco. But it's still a really good mayonnaise from what I've heard.
For some reason, I feel like every month I'm able to find these stencils that are dark chocolate coconut cookies and I find them at a clearance price. So at this Costco, so far the lowest I've seen them go for would be a $5. Normally I find them around $7.97. And so these are very thin, of course. Four cookies would be the serving size. It's around 150 calories. It does have around 11 grams of sugar. And then right there's also a list of the ingredients. But these are pretty tasty, I must say. I do like them, but I would only probably purchase these whenever I find them at a clearance price. They're peanut free, they're non-GMO, they have real dark chocolate in them, and there's no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. I know a lot of people really like these Sanders dark chocolate sea salt caramel clusters and so I thought I should let you know that here and there I'm able to find them at a clearance price but the lowest price I've seen this item go for would be of $6. It normally sells for $11 as you can even see Costco is really trying to get rid of this product. So some Costco's in my area have seen them sell it at the original price of $11. Others I have seen it bring down the price to a clearance price so just something to keep in mind. I would probably look out for this item if you really like it anytime you're at Costco. There's a list of the ingredients and the serving size is of about two pieces. This is a dark chocolate bark with crushed pretzels. You have a caramel drizzle and a sprinkle of sea salt. I personally haven't tried it, but I did find it 50% off. It normally sells for 10 and I found it going for the price of $5, which is not bad considering you are getting 20 ounces worth of product. Here are the nutrition facts for those of you that are interested. 150 calories for a 2 inch square, which would be the serving size. 15 grams of sugar and there you have a list of the ingredients. This is a pre-built gingerbread cookie kit and you have the beautiful house. It comes with the candies and the two Christmas trees. So this one I did find it going for the price of $5, which let me tell you that's a little bit of a rare find because first of all, Costco's pretty much gotten rid of all their Christmas products. This one normally sells at the price of $16. There you have the serving size, which would be around 33 grams of the cookie. It does have around 24 in carbs and then 15 grams of sugar. And now I was also noticing it comes with everything you need to know on how to build it. It, it breaks down the instructions into some very easy steps, showing you how to build the trees and of course the gingerbread house cookie. So for the first time ever, I've found this blush balm, which is the BB Cheek and Lip Duel. So you have three different colors and they're all very nice. And this one I found it going for a clearance price of $14.97, which let me tell you, that's the first time we've seen it go down from its original price of $29. You can see it already has a Death Star, which means Costco wants this product gone. The colors are also really nice. You have Berry Bliss, Pink Crush, and Nude Sugar. I personally have very sensitive skin, so I've been meaning to try this one, but of course I wanted it to come down to a clearance price for me to try it. Let me know if I should buy this product and let me know if you've tried it and if you like it and if you recommend it. I just spotted these Hurley Ladies Puff Clog sneakers, but I will say that I only found them available in this very light beige color, but look at that, $5. This one normally sells for $25, so if we do the math, that's about 80% off. It says sizes 6 through 10 on here, but when I was looking around, I did notice mostly uh, size 10, 11, and 12 was available. But I would highly recommend for you to check this product at your local Costco if you like it and if you've been trying to purchase it because first of all, it's going to be gone. And second, there's a great chance you can find it at a clearance price. Other Costco locations I've checked even sell it around $10, $12 or so, which is still not bad considering it normally sells for $25. I know the last time we did one of these clearance videos, we were talking about this little kit right here that has a couple of accessories perfect for any gamer. And so this one is perfect for PlayStation 5 or Nintendo. Um, I found it going for the price of $9.97. Keep in mind, this one used to sell for $58. And I think last time we did a video, we were talking about whether or not it would be worth it. I think we found it at $20 and a lot of people were saying that it wasn't quite worth it considering you can just buy exactly the one thing you need from this whole kit and purchase it at a probably cheaper price like on Amazon. But now that the you know I found it at this price, I'm even thinking this whole kit is completely worth it. Here's everything that is included. 
And that is all that I have for today. Remember to turn on your notification button to know when I have uploaded a new video. See you guys next time.